This video is on a topic that I'm very excited about. I recently made my first attempt at painting ever. Actually, I, I tried uh, oil painting. Previously, for the last five years or so, I've been exclusively a colored pencil portrait artist, amateur. So this was uh, something that I've been talking about for quite some time. Unfortunately, the angle that I took in this video is not very good so hopefully I can next time I bought a tripod so hopefully next time I can kind of remedy the angle and the focus as well this oil painting took about just under three hours usually a single subject colored pencil drawing takes me about an hour and 15 minutes hour and 30 minutes or so I'm sure a lot of it is due to lack of familiarity but uh, painting might just also take longer, mixing colors and all that. Very glad that in this instance I made an outline before I started. It made things a lot easier as I was trying to learn how the paints blend and how colors come together and how the, the paint applies to the surface. It made figuring all that out a lot easier having the outline in place already, the sketch outline. Uh, the paper that I used here is a very thick paper designed specifically for oil paints. You can't really tell because of the poor quality of this video, but it's very th uh, thick and has a lot of ridges and, and rough spots. This is literally the first time I've ever done this, so I was very surprised to see that I had some success with it. Um, it's obviously not a masterpiece or anything, but it did come together. I followed the techniques from some oil painters that I've seen on YouTube. Um, and also I learned a lot from uh, watching Bob Ross Joy of Painting episodes. So that helped me quite a bit. Even though Bob Ross never painted people, I, I picked up quite a lot of his smaller pieces of of advice about how paint flows and how to apply it and things like that. One of the YouTube artists who I'll link in the description, I kind of followed his oil painting technique. I did not use any solvent here. He recommended if you're concerned about toxicity to just apply the paint directly to the, the paper or canvas, which is what I did. Um, I didn't have any issues with blending or mixing the paint. It, it all seemed to come together pretty well, I think. So I, I mentioned another YouTube artist that uh, I kind of followed his processes in some respects. He recommended that you start with detailed areas first, like the eyes or parts of the nose and the mouth, and fill in that detail, fill in the darker parts and then work your way outward from there. His reasoning was that you uh, are, are naturally kind of inspired and to ride that wave of emotion and inspiration and get the most difficult stuff out of the way first. I, I found that to be really excellent advice. I, I like the way that worked. I'll probably continue to do that. Um, I really enjoyed this, this painting quite a lot. I liked it even more than I thought I would. Um, I already liked colored pencil drawing. My usual technique is to lay on the pencil very thickly and blend it very heavily and aggressively to kind of try to simulate paint. I've just always been a fan of how paint looks on paper, so I, I kind of tried to do that with colored pencil. So in this case, it was just really gratifying to be able to use some of those some of the directionality of blending colored pencils was kind of similar. It, hel it helped me when I was doing this painting to kind of get the musculature and the shadow directions right. So I, I was surprised that that was useful. At this point in the video, you can kind of get a feel for how this finished version is going to look. I think the things I did well here, the shadows are 
pretty decent using different colors in the skin and the combination felt right. I think that worked pretty good. I'm trying to blend different combinations of red and brown and yellow together I, I think was was pretty effective. So skin was no problem. Actually it was surprised that I was able to for the most part get the detail of the mouth and the nose right. The eyes were okay. I thought I, I really thought I was going to mess up at some point there majorly, but um, I found the paint to be pretty forgiving to my surprise. I, th I thought that perhaps if you messed up, you really messed up and you there wasn't much you could do about it, but it was pretty easy to kind of paint over and layer things and yeah, I found, found the paint to be very forgiving. Um, I think I could stand to improve on the the eyes. They were okay, but kind of getting the fine details requires a steady hand, and sometimes my hand is not as steady as I hope. So I think I could get better there. I also think that there's a lot of room for improvement in the hair. It kind of ended up as a big splotch of brown at one point. You can see where I'm at now. I'm adding, so if I synced this right, I think I did. So I'm adding some some different color variations. Um, I watched a different artist's video tutorial on oil painting and hair and kind of how you, it, it's actually kind of similar to advice I've heard regarding colored pencils where you don't treat the hair as one big mass. You treat it as different sections of color and shadow. So I didn't really take that approach here and I, I should have. So next time I can kind of take a different different path on hair and I think maybe it'll turn out a little better. It it turned out okay here. It wasn't it wasn't bad per se, but yeah, definitely some room for improvement. I also haven't figured out like with skin with skin it's not too hard it seems to make it look like skin to simulate kind of some texture. But with hair, I had a lot of difficulty separating out fine pieces of hair. I, I really couldn't do it. It was just, I don't know, it's probably my brush technique. I have no brush technique since I have no um, training or education in this, and this is my first time to do it. So I, I need some practice there and I, I need to probably watch a lot more videos on how people how people achieve that finer detail uh, the best approaches for that so definitely some room for improvement there um, and another big thing obviously is is speed I, I could definitely stand to get faster but all in all just summing up this this was something that I just randomly decided to do I, I don't even know why and I'm shocked that it worked I, I thought it would be Kind of a train wreck and it it wasn't a total train wreck it was it was a pretty satisfying result um, and it has me feeling inspired to do more so thank you for watching this video I, I certainly hope to have more oil paintings coming soon